Hi guys, if you're like me, you love to backpack, but you also love backpacking gear. Today, we're talking about a few things I'm testing out this spring. They're very minimal, cheap, affordable pieces of gear, and I just wanted to share them with you. I thought this would be a cool little video. I know you all love to talk about backpacking gear, so let's get straight into it. I'm Taylor, and welcome to Southern Hike. As you know, anytime you like to backpack a lot, there's a lot of things to it that you might want to adjust as further you get into it, and then you want to try new stuff and try new gear, especially being a content creator on YouTube. I always want to share new stuff I'm trying out with you guys, and then I'm just testing stuff for myself and what finds what works and what doesn't work and I'm always into trying new things. Well in this video today we're talking about a few different things that I have bought that well a few of them I bought one thing was given to me but I'm trying them out this year to see if I like them they're more affordable gear brands and then we'll just test them through the year to see if they work. So I've got five different things and we're going to go ahead and get straight into them. First thing on the list still in the package I have not exactly used it yet but I'm actually planning to over the next couple weekends got a couple small trips planned ahead of me and this is something I'm willing to try out. I know that a lot of people say for a single wall tent to use like a sham wow or any kind of absorbent wipe that works well. Well, I found these Scotch Bright, these on Amazon. I'll make sure to link them below. And these are like half the price of the sham wows or what I found. And maybe there's a better deal out there. Let me know in the comments. But these are some wipes that they make and they're the same ordeal or setup that you just use them to rub off any condensation off this. That's not what it's really what Scotch Bright advertises it for, but it works perfect to be able to absorb condensation off the top of your tent so you don't soak all your gear on the inside when you're using a single wall tent because that's one of the downsides of those so i have not opened these yet as you can tell but i'm excited to try these out this is super cheap and a little bit more cheaper than the other ones i found on amazon and i'm hoping to find out how these work i'll definitely let you know later in the year if this is worth the deal second on the list so this is a company based out of portland oregon um they do i think the products are uh, actually made overseas but it is a product of the usa they are an american company Company, but they, like I said, they do source their actual, like create their products overseas. This is Gear Doctor. This is their Gear Doctor Apollo Air. This is their more affordable sleeping pad. And I'll tell you what really sparked me on this originally was uh, Jeff from Dose of Dirt. I've actually got two things to talk about today involving him. He did a video when he, he compared this to Pariah's uh, sleeping pad. And I thought it was a really cool pad. So I reached out to them and I was like, hey, would you mind sending me one? Um, I'd love to try it out on my channel and talk to my community about it because sleeping pads can get very expensive and if you can find something more affordable that does well, then I definitely wanna try it out and share it with you guys. So I'll definitely be doing a video on this one. I'll just give some hints already. This pad comes in only at just over a pound. It uh, pumps the same way the Nemo Tensor does. You know that's my favorite pad. And I've used this so time, a few times so far, and so far I'm enjoying it. So I'll definitely be doing a video. I won't be doing a review on it because I didn't necessarily pay for it, but I'll definitely do a video kind of going over it and whether I would recommend the pad or not. So be looking out for that video. Third on the list. So you know that we're Hilltop Pack fans. Uh, ben has been awesome to the backpack community. And then uh, he actually just did a video where he was discussing uh, the new Eco Pack bear bags. If you saw us talk about that ba that bag, you found out it's actually not 100% recyclable. I did list that in the comments on that video that they did find out it's partially got some new fabric in it. So be aware of that if you're actually scouting for one of those bear bags. So this is out of his bargain bin. This is a Dyneema um, dry bag. And as you can tell from the outside, what I plan to do with it is make my own first aid kit. So I, like I said, this was a bargain item, so I got it kind of cheaper. I'll make sure to link the, our affiliate link to him below. He's got a bargain bin that you can get some cool stuff, and I know he adds stuff to it all through the year. But I'm excited to use this because I can kind of tune my first aid kit to how I like it. You know, I've used one of the, I can't remember the med kit ones. I can't remember the brand. I've used theirs for a good while now, but this is one I want to kind of tune to what exactly I think I could use out there and then kind of reduce down weight and then kind of also have this own setup to where it will fit everything I want to put into it and still fit into my ditty bag. So this is the Hilltop Packs. Uh, one of their Dyneema bags. Again, I will link their website below and check out their bargain bin. Sometimes they got some cool stuff in there. Hey, just want to say, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit the like button. That's one of the easiest ways to support us. We really appreciate it. And if you're new here checking out this backpacking gear, we'd love to have you a part of our community. We do all backpacking and hiking and especially gear videos, as you see here, and some trip videos. And we'd love to have you a part of our, a part of our community. So make sure to hit the subscription button and the bell to know we go live every Thursday with a new video. All right, so speaking Speaking of Pariah, I said mentioned them earlier. This is their sanctuary, uh, I think it's a seal nylon tarp. This is a tarp you can use for a hammock, but I wanted to buy a tarp that was more cheaper. Uh, this comes in at under $100. 
one that I can take with us when I know we, when we're on our local trail, we might run into some rain maybe in the morning or maybe a light shower in the evening and just have somewhere where we can set up outside of our tent, you know, and enjoy our, still use our uh, camp chairs, have dinner or breakfast and still be covered from the rain. I will put a picture of it on the screen because it's still in the actual bag and I'll link it below. They're currently out of stock of this one. Uh, it's a lot of things are out of stock these days, but uh, I'm excited to use this. I might do a video later this year. If you are interested in it, comment below and maybe I'll talk about it more. We'll break it out and see how it does, but I'm gonna be testing this one out. Um, uh, like I said, I just wanted something more affordable, something we can carry with us. It comes in at a pound. I can just throw it in my pack when we're going on an overnight trip and still be have something to cover up from potential rain. I definitely want to be carried. I would definitely might cancel the trip if it's gonna be just a downpour overnight. But if there's a small chance of a shower, this is just great to have. All right, last on the list. So you know that we got the Gossamer Gear V2 tent earlier this year, and we've already tried it a few different nights, loving it so far. But one of the things that I'm gonna talk about in the future video when I do a review on this tent was the stakes. The stakes it comes with, um, just to say they're not the best, I would definitely suggest already, and I'll say it in that video to make sure to go ahead and consider upgrading. So we are huge fans of Y stakes. It does not come with Y stakes. It has their own stake that they just offer with it. I don't know what you call that type of stake. It's not in my preference, but this is the Wise Isle Outfitters tent stakes. These are off of Amazon. I had considered buying these a while back and I just wasn't sure, didn't know if they'd be strong enough and I was like hesitant and then I saw Jeff again that I talked about earlier, he mentioned that he got some for his duplex and that he has liked them so far. He said he bent one but he thinks he accidentally did it from angling it wrong when he was putting it in the ground. But he said so far these have worked well so when he did that, said that, all of a sudden I also got a notification from Amazon that they had gone on sale and I got them for like $13 and there's 16 Y stakes in here. Normally they're 17 with still a crate teal. That's just over a dollar a stake. And so I'm excited to use these with our Gossamer gear tent. And I'll definitely mention later in the video, later in the year after using these for a while, whether they're worth buying or not. Cause that price over the MSR ones is just such a better deal. Now, nothing to hate on the MSR, they're just more expensive. And for 16 stakes, if I break two of these in an entire year, I think I've gotten my money's worth out of these and I love Y stakes. I'm excited to use these. So that's some gear I'm testing out. I'll definitely be using it. I've already used it a couple things already and I'll be using them in some future trips coming up and I'll make sure to mention as the year goes on some of this gear that I'm excited to use. And I've got some other things that I'm not mentioning yet that we're gonna be testing out too and new gear we're just gonna be buying because we wanna try some new things. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, make sure to like it if you did. We really appreciate your support as always. We are been humbled by your continued support on into 2022 we've got some amazing trips lined up already and we're excited to share those with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next week